that this is truly the best view I've ever seen east of the Rockies, and I mean that sincerely. This is a revival replica, and it's about 4,000 square feet. All the details I'll put right here on the video because I can't remember right now, but it's, uh, it's just spectacular. Now, everyone wants an old house, but no one wants all the old house stuff, you know, the, the rickety floors and the draftiness and no insulation and all that sort of thing. This is tight as a drum, built super well, it's got dental molding, all the details that you'd want in, in a replica house, but with all the uh, new amenities, the heat pumps, that sort of thing. The utilities are uber low here. Um, and we can give you copies of all that because the house is so tight. It's also got a poured wall walkout basement, which is spectacular. And I'll show you down there. It's actually set up for like a granny flat. So when you come in, just to give you an idea of what's going on, the road is out there. That's Highway 78. And of course, there's no traffic on it. But if, if, there's, if there's a car that goes by, I'll point it out to you. And you come in down there. Let me see if I can zoom out. You're going to come in down there and then come on past the barns. There are, there are two really nice barns. They have cattle operation here and horses. And two of those, those two barns there are set up for that. You're going to come through that up the windy driveway and then you've got an option of going around back to the walkout basement or coming in here which is where your guests would come in a circle drive and come up to this view. And then it goes all the way on around again. So it's a complete circle around the house. Look at the aerials. The grounds are landscaped really well. You got beautiful maple trees, you got some pine trees mixed in, dogwoods. Uh, it's just spectacular. If you hear a tractor running, it's the farm manager. Uh, I think uh, I think if you uh, talk to uh, Ken, we can probably hook you up with with the farm manager. Make some kind of a deal with him. That way, you can do like we do. My wife and I, we've got a big farm, and we don't do any of the labor. We have it all done, and then what we do is we just split the profits with the farm manager. So we provide the land, some of the equipment. He provides some of the equipment, and uh, he signs uh, on the note for the cattle and things like that. So it's, it's his expense coming out, but then uh, the profits are just split. So it works out really well for us, works out super well for him, so you didn't have to buy a million dollar farm. And it works great for us because the land is taken care of and so on and so forth. You don't want to hear me jibber jab about that. We can do that in person. But I did want to show you here the porch, real pretty. And then the view. I just, it's remarkable. Come on inside. You've got hardwood floors, real oak. It's the real deal. Everything is done properly here. Uh, this is uh, a mature cellar. No expenses were held back. All the windows are set up to really All the windows are set up to bring in the view. When you get quality, you can tell. Um, I go clomping up these stairs and they're solid as a rock. The newel post, it, it's not moving, nothing, everything's tight. So you can tell I'm excited about this property. You can tell I like it. I really do. What I also like is the uh, super high efficiency that this new construction offers. And, uh, and then you have really low utility bills. And I'll, I'll, I'll put down there what the utility bills were, but they were crazy cheap. So sometimes you can afford to buy the land, but you can't afford the house. You can, sometimes you can afford to buy the house, but you can't afford to heat it and cool it. If you can buy the house here, you're in really good shape. You're gonna have uh, the farm 
offer all the things that a farm does, such as your own beef and, and that sort of thing, so you can raise your own food, which saves a ton and you know what you're eating. And, uh, and then your utilities are low. Of course, the taxes are real low here in Kentucky and you're over 10 acres, so you have uh, agricultural exemption and if you're over I'm not sure whether it's 62 or 65 you get another 31,000 it's indexed that goes up every year you got like another $31,000 off on that let's just step out here on the porch real quick just kind of show you what you've got going on in the backyard here So you get the patio doors here that goes into the like the living room area and there's a fireplace down there and everything two-car garage the basement's spectacular these windows believe it or not give so much solar gain in the winter of course in the summer you're you're partially shaded but in the winter and that's one of the secrets to the low utilities here there's trumpet vine growing up the the railing don't you know that's going to be gorgeous when it, when it starts blooming? Yeah, how can you beat that? I mean, really. It's constantly changing. The cattle are moving around, so it makes it look beautiful. It makes it look different. The sun and the clouds are always changing. You see there's one cow right down there is Black Angus. Well, they got a whole bunch on here. All right, let's go on back inside. I'll show you the rest of the house. So there's a security system in the house. Look at this kitchen. Gosh, love it. Isn't that pretty? So here again, there are your views. You can sit here and watch the cattle. Now there's a barn over here. There's a cattle barn. And it's right there. So you can sit here and watch your farm manager manage your cattle or maybe your hubby or whatever manage your cattle. And then this is a big alfalfa field back here. They just mowed it. You look at the aerials and you'll see that. So you got can lights, which I love the look of that, and then you've got these overhead lights as well. Cherry cabinets. This is not built in. This you can pull it out, you can change it, whatever. So if you have a you know piece of furniture you need there, that does not have to stay. Before we go to the master bedroom, I just want to show you here. There's the dining room. So you come right in here. I'll just show you real quick. Got a pantry here. And another big closet here, and then a half bath. Again, everything's done well. Color toilets, color toilet seats, you know, please. When, when you see details like that, you know everything is done properly. Let's go in the master here. It's got to be 24 feet long. That's a king bed. Gives you an idea. You can fit two or three king beds in here. It's ridiculously taken care of. I've got to show you this. They've got those glide things on the bottom of the plastic rollers. <laughs> so. Everything is just meticulous and immaculate. Double vanity, shower, jet tub, on and on. And you saw the still photographs, so you probably recognize this. And then big, big closet here. Central vac. Now she's probably going to kill me because I'm looking in her closet, but I want to show you the depth of this. It's an enormous closet. 
I get to see a lot of cool houses. That's the fun thing about my job. So I really get to compare who's got nice closets or how big a big closet really is or that sort of thing. It's kind of nice. All right, let's go on upstairs. Again, no creaking, no squeaking. Everything is, is like a rock. I mean, I'm so impressed with this. Uh, it's just, everything's tight. So I come to the top of the stairs and I just wanted to point out, you've got central vac uh, everywhere. I kind of mentioned that earlier, but I just wanted to show you the outlet. This is guest room one. For lack of a better, Term. Look at the closet. Wow. It's all about closet space, isn't it? It's huge. It's got to be six by eight ish. That's a double or a queen. You can see how big that bedroom is. This one's even bigger. I mean, like double. Victorian loves to eat. You can see just for size. This is one big bedroom. And two twins. And there's the view out of your bedroom window. This one's got a big closet as well. So that goes, that's 12 feet, 14 feet, 16 feet. Then this has a Jack and Jill bathroom. That's where it shares on both sides. So you got the shower there. Hopper and huge vanity. How pretty that is. Going down there, can you imagine holidays or when you entertain guests? This being used as an office, but this certainly is big enough for a bedroom. Small bedroom, but a bedroom. More closets, big, big, big. Now, let me show you this attic. So here you can see exactly how everything is built. This is insulated here, right? And then all the way down. Now this would be maybe a challenge to uh, to finish this off. Probably wouldn't want to waste your time here. But you could put another whole bedroom up in here. Man cave, pool room, whatever you want. Up in here. It would be a snap to do this. I mean, we're talking about very little money. Little insulation, little sheetrock, little flooring some studs, you're done. Now let's just fly down the stairs real quick. And then we'll go in the basement, which is pretty exciting. I think you'll agree. We're back at the kitchen, remember? And then straight down. And again, oak floors, that all tile down here looks to be like porcelain tile. This goes out to the garage. And again, you can see all the poured walls. And then this is storage here. But lots and lots of storage. Again, very finish offable. Is that a word? I think so. And then the granny flat. Maybe you're a professional. Maybe you're a psychologist or something like that. Someone who has people come to their home. Maybe you're an attorney. You want to have an office down here? I think that would be quite appropriate and certainly uh, uh, okay with planning and zoning. I'm 99.9% .9 sure. But how cool would this be, right? So you got you got a full bath down here. All tiled. 
tile, laundry tub, outside entrance, all concrete and paved. I mean, really, how can you go wrong? Look at this place. I just love it. I love it. I'm sure you'd love it too. So think of it as, you know, if you have a, an extended family member for down here, maybe you just want to have the extra room for yourself. Maybe you're professional and you need the extra room. This space down here affords all of that. Well, there we are. And there you have it. We're at True View. I need you to call Ken at the bottom to make an appointment and we'll get you in to see this property. And I just hope you're as excited as we are about having this property. I want to thank you for watching the video. Stay tuned, subscribe to our channel on YouTube so you can see our other videos and our other properties. So you'll be alerted of the new properties that come on the market. Now you've seen the house. Let's go out and fly around. Show you what we got out here at True View.